goal of the anti-abortion front, speak the truth and inspire the younger generation to make serious sacrifices, just as the apostles did, just as the, the men of the civil rights did. You know, my, my favorite song is the Battle Hymn of the Republic. And my favorite lyric of it, these men, they would sing it during the Civil War as they would march into their death. Our goal is to bring back that courage. So I'm here with Mason Deshaw, and he is also known as the pro-life Spider-Man. He climbs buildings around the country to promote support for the pro-life movement and to end abortion. He also raises money for women expecting children, and uh, we're here to talk about what he's currently doing. This climber was posting on Instagram as he climbed the 60 plus stories of the Salesforce Tower. He has a political agenda. He says he's climbing skyscrapers with a message, stop abortions. He was arrested after getting to the top as he often is, but he's out of jail now and he joins us to explain why he once again risked his life. The man, his real name is Mason Deschamps from Las Vegas, started to scale the circular structure around 10 o'clock Wednesday morning. There was a day in America where slavery was legal and then the next day where it wasn't. There weren't many hearts and minds changed in that one day. What changed was the law. And that's where we have to shoot for. Um, and honestly, I, I don't know what the direction of our law is in America or our justice system is in America. I used to think that there was a political means to an end. I don't know if I believe in that anymore. I think America is, has gone down the drain almost to an unsavable length. And I think if we put our faith in politics, we are bound to lose and we're bound to fail. I mean, our politicians, they compromise. They care about money, they care about status, they care about going to these galas in a tuxedo and eating fancy dinners and being paraded around and having pictures taken. Uh, that's what our politicians care about. Uh, so I, I see the means to the end is not politically, but I, I see, it, see it spiritually. I see revival to be our only hope. Uh, the only place that we are safe in America in these coming days is behind the cross. If we want to change this nation, it's going to be through the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ. And that's our only hope. Man is going to fail. Uh, you know, our, our feet will stumble, uh, our steps will slip, but God, God can do it, and that's it. Abortion is murder. Act like it, and let God do the rest. Uh, just like as slavery is unthinkable in America, we want abortion to be the same. That said, trying to convince somebody who is so hard-headed to think that like the answer to someone being raped is murder, like murdering the victim, uh, it's almost a fool's errand. But then I said to myself, you know, what kind of man am I if I don't do something about this? I mean, it was a picture that drove me to the point of where I'm climbing skyscrapers and getting arrested, I'm dropping out of college, quitting my job, and, and that's, what, that's what did that was seeing that baby because suddenly, Everything clicked and I, I just understood what was happening in our country.